Ready to elevate models to breathtaking visuals? Dive into the ultimate beginner's guide to crafting photorealistic animated architectural visualizations. Set aside what you know about rendering parameters for a moment. Today, we're diving deeper, mastering visual framing, enhancing building volume, and arranging landscapes. Let's kick things off with visual framing. Turn on grid in display and mount the camera at an eye level perspective. Place our subject, namely the building, in the left or right third of the viewport. This combination of an eye level view and the rule of thirds ensures a distinct presentation of the building. Through the interplay of light and shadow, architects can enhance the perception of volume, depth, and texture. Avoid drowning your design in harsh light or deep shadows. By setting appropriate height and angle for the sun, we can achieve that perfect harmony to enhance our building's massing. Before we dive into the world of landscaping, it's advisable to initially lay out the basic materials for the structure. Elaborate detailing isn't necessary at this stage, as we will refine the materials once the landscape design is complete. By categorizing the vegetation into foreground, middle ground, and background layers, we can achieve a well-structured composition. The lawn and the pool serves as the foreground that directs the viewer's attention to the building. Painting multiple species of grass with varying heights and colors will make the lawn look more lifelike and organic. Furthermore, strategically placing stones or plants along the edge of the pool will not only add visual interest, but also serve as a guiding path, drawing the viewer's gaze towards the main structure. For the vegetation in the middle ground, we highly recommend integrating trees of diverse heights to create an enchanting visual effect where the tree crowns form a graceful undulating line. Including species such as cornifer, evergreen, or even bald trees will further elevate the allure of the image. Here's a tip to quickly change the leaf color. Press the shortcut key I to select the leaf material and adjust its base color from yellow to green. To address the distant background landscape barely visible through the camera, we have a time-saving technique to effortlessly complete the scene, employing a wooded mountain backdrop plane. With most of the landscaping elements in place, the scene has come alive. However, you may have observed that the glass reflections lack a certain vibrancy. To address this, we suggest incorporating some trees opposite the structure. The exterior environment has been well crafted. At this stage, you have the freedom to fine tune and adjust the details according to your specific requirements. First comes the water material. Adjust its flow velocity, depth, and normal intensity, making the water look more natural. Don't forget to keep the UV randomizer option on. Then, give the glass a tint of blue and make it more specular. Now it's time to curate the furniture selection and adorn the interior of the building. In a sun-soaked environment, artificial lighting may not be essential, but it can add a touch of brilliance to an overcast atmosphere with the contrast between warm and dark color tones. And now we reach the final and most exciting stage, the animation output. In D5, we have a remarkable video editor that is easy to use, yet super powerful. Apart from panning shots, you could simulate changes in the sun's position and the passage of time with the animation feature. Quickly switch to a dusk setting using the AI Atmosphere Match feature.
Adjust the sun's position for the first or last frame, and D5 auto-generates a transition animation. For dynamic shots, use the orbit template to create a smooth camera orbit. Adjust the path radius, position, and sweep for precision. These tools provide an easier approach to crafting detailed and precise animations for any project. That completes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.